All right, good morning everybody. Here we are. It's Christmas Eve and we are finally getting out to do a good test on the new Mud Skipper long tail motor that I have on this 14 foot Crestliner boat. We went out a couple days ago to try it but the lake was frozen with about an inch and a half of ice and even though we did get out and break some ice and, and ran around the lake a few times, uh, it was not really the test we were hoping for. So we're going to go out again this morning and give it a try and see what we can do. Dave for test number two. Say hi, Dave. Hi. <laughs> Dave's boat is a 1436 Low John boat with a long tail kit. It's running a 13 horsepower Honda GX 390 motor on it. Uh, we tried this a couple days ago and didn't have a whole lot of luck because the lake was frozen over. Uh, my boat is a 1448 Crestliner. Um, it's got a Honda 20, or not a Honda, a Harbor Freight 22 horsepower V twin motor on it with a Mud Skipper long tail as well. So hopefully, we have a little better luck today than we did last week. Um, took them out again. They did pretty good. Uh, my prop is almost too big. I have, I'm fighting it a lot, trying to keep it in the water. When it starts to break the surface, it wants to just skate across the top of the water. So I'm going to try the 9 inch prop instead of the 9.5 next time I go out and see how that does. Uh, the other thing I did is I already moved the bracket on the motor to the other set of holes and I think I'm going to drill another set of holes in there to try to move that motor a little bit farther back towards the prop to put a little more weight on the prop again. Um, the only other changes I really made to the kit was I put a little bend in the Z bar or in the bar there to turn into a mini Z bar just that when I'm standing up in the boat I'm uh, that bar is about the right height and I'm not bending over to grab it. And then I also put a twist throttle on here. Uh, this I really do like um, especially today when we were out running with it, when you let go of the bar or let go of the throttle, it automatically goes and returns to idle instead of having to slide it, uh, slide a thumb lever back over to idle. Um, I don't know if I'd want to run this motor without an automatic return to idle. If it had something to set it and forget it, it would. I'm afraid I'd get into trouble with it. <laughs> 